All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to summon the Transcendence Scroll pack. Uh, I don't buy a lot of packs on my account um, because I'm worried that, you know, I won't get good value about it. And I, you know, I'm a teacher, so I got to kind of be careful with money. But in this one, this is one that I felt like had a lot of value um, included in it. So we bought it and I'm going to check out the runes and then we're going to summon that Transcendence Scroll see what we get. So let's do the runes first. I like never get runes this way, so this is really exciting. I'm pretty, pretty pumped. Okay, so there's my crystals, my reaps, and here's my five runes. I went with Violent because I only farm Swift and Giants, and I decided not to go with Will because I farm that through the dimensional hole. So I'm farming two of the three main sets, Swift and Will, so I feel like the only way to boost my violent runes is to get them in packs like this. So that's the thought. So we're hoping for not flat. We're hoping for speed substats and hopefully percentage stats that are useful. Maybe even some uh, innates. So let's see how we get. Okay, that meets all the requirements. That's a good one. It could roll not great, but that's got everything I want. That's another good one. That one's also good. It's got one flat, but everything else looks good. That's great. <laughs> that's exactly what I want. I mean, that's a reap candidate, right? Because it doesn't have speed, but HP slot six. I think I have one of those ever, maybe two. So three of the five, that's more than you could hope for. I'm feeling really, really good about this pack. Every single rune has been great. Great. <laughs> that's speed. That's percentage. Uh, if I had a use for that specifically, I might reap it, but it doesn't have an innate. So it's maybe not a prime candidate, but four of the five have been perfect. Can we go 100%? Okay, that's the worst one, and that one's not bad. Um, it just doesn't have a speed substat. It's a defense percent slot four. I mean, I don't have a lot of those either, so that might be a react candidate. So that went, that went awesome. That went about as well as you could hope. I mean, none of, gosh, I, I don't know. None of them were game breaking perfect, like HP percent with an innate with speed substat. They weren't perfect but all of them are usable and decent. And we'll roll them and maybe we'll be in really good shape. Let's go ahead and roll them. I don't think we need to roll that one. I mean, we can roll it to like six just to kind of see what it looks like. Um, but everything's minimum, minimum crit, minimum crit damage, and then two flat stats. So I don't really see a world in which this is usable unless it like, yeah, so it went into defense flat. If it went like quad roll, crit, maybe, I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and table that one after this six. Yeah, so another minimum roll. Okay, so let's go into the ones with speed. Do we roll it all the way, way to 12 and reveal? Gosh, I don't know. That's so stressful. Let's, let's set it to 12 and just <sighs> ride along with it. I like to just roll them all at once and then see what kind of mess I got into so then I don't know. Ooh, first roll speed, minimum roll. That's okay, you can't quad roll unless they all go into speed. There might be a minimum roll along the way. Attack? Okay. If I can go full speed and attack, that'd be great. Speed, attack, accuracy, HP. I mean, this is a, a Sierra rune, depending on how things work out, or a Sierra type monster. Accuracy. We're spreading the love. All pretty low rolls, so not great in terms of how it's rolling out. Even with a roll in the 12, I don't think I need to continue rolling this one, because even if it rolls max speed in the 12 that's 15 i mean i don't know i guess we'll, we'll let it go for a little bit but it's not going to turn out fantastic maybe people want to see how it turns out so we'll go ahead and let it roll but it's kind of in that weird spot of probably don't reap it because it's not a percentage 246 and it doesn't have an eight and it's maybe usable in some spots i'd have to like really dig into my runes and see where it fits um because yeah, that's the rolls are all real quite bad in terms of uh, how good they could be. But that's okay, whatever. Just getting not trash from the rune pack is, I feel like, the win already. And you know we've got some some decent targets to reap if we want. Yeah, crit rate and defense, slot four percentage, kind of interesting. Doesn't really want to go to twelve though. That might be a bit of an issue. I don't think I really care where this goes. I think I wanted to avoid HP if I had to. 
But I mean, this could be on like a, I don't know, like a PVE unit or something. Yeah, win an HP, but another really bad roll. So probably one of the worst rolls, uh, one of the worst versions of this rune. It's like all minimum rolls for everything pretty much, but that's okay. Let's go roll something different. Let's roll the crit rate rune because it has speed in it. This is one where if it doesn't roll well, I'm not sure if it ends up getting kept because I think I've got a crit rate rune with an innate. Ooh, that's not a good start. Um, that if, if I wanted to reap crit rate violent runes, that's the one I would do. And I have not reapped it over months and months, so I don't know that that's my thing. So I guess we let it go to the nine, but those are both bad. <laughs> those are both bad rolls. Even if it goes to 17, it's like borderline redeemed. I'm talking about 17 speed. If it does anything other than go speed here, I don't need to continue rolling it because it's probably going to be trash. <laughs> nope. All right, you're done. That one's probably trash. Um, I don't really see the need to roll that because there's nothing interesting that could happen. Let's go here. This is the one that started with the max speed roll. So 30 speed rune potential. It's got the potential. Go speed. Yes, max speed roll. Excellent. That means I have to roll it all the way to 12 regardless. Because even 18 I would use. A 22 speed I would use. Okay, defense. Not what I want, but better than flat HP. Defense probably my second choice. Maybe crit, I don't know. Two more, two more max speed rolls would be just fine with me. That'd be my best violent rune I own at 24 speed. I'm not anticipating that, but... Even one more speed roll, anything but minimum, would be fantastic. So, not a horrible chance of that happening. Alright, here comes the plus nine. One in four chance. Maybe here comes the plus nine. This is kind of fun. I can see why people buy the rune packs, you know? Like, it's, I mean, it's straight up gambling, but it's fun. It's fun gambling. Like, I don't know what's going to happen, and I got a good pull, so I'm feeling good about that. But then you have to get the good pulls combined with the good rolls. Yes. Max roll. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now it's getting serious, because this is already a good rune. If I get one in four at 25% chance of being, like, really, really, really good. Come on, big money. Come on, come on, come on, come on, do it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it max rolled twice. 24 would be the fastest rune I have. Oh, man, it's going to kill me. Yeah, because my fastest rune currently is 20... Oh, no, I have a 131, but then other than that, it's 28. Yes! Yes! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it did that. Oh, I love your rune. Everyone should buy this pack. No joke. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Well, I had a, I had a red one, but I guess this is... Oh my gosh, that's so good. Wow. That makes me happier than the Transcendent Scroll is going to, probably. Um, my goodness, what a great, great rune. So everything else we'll work on later, just to put it into perspective, um, how good that is. Here's my Violent Runes. Fastest slot one is 24, grinded. I mean, you know, that's a 20, so that's really quite bad. Slot 2 doesn't matter. Fastest slot 3 is a 26, which is a 21 base. I mean, this is my best Violet Rune ever. Fastest here is actually 27. This one's good. But it's a 22 base. Plus 5. Like, what? I'm going to have a 29 speed Violet Rune. Eventually. At some point in the distant future. Look at that. 24 grinded. 24 grinded on a resistance rune. I mean, my Violet Runes are kind of trash. That's why I do Swift. Oh, good job, Rune. You're my favorite rune. I like you a lot. Okay. I'm going to leave that rune alone. The only reason I'm not grinding the speed now is because this rune is going to get all the legendary grinds that I get. Because it has to roll a 5. I don't care how many legendary grinds it takes. A 29 speed violent rune. Um, yeah. So I don't want to waste the purple ones that are going to be replaced anyway. So from the new event that we're doing right now, I'm going to get a speed grind a legendary speed grind so i'm gonna throw it on this and then i'll buy the speed grinds uh so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna waste the purple ones because i'm still they're in very short supply like you can see i only have two currently so i can't believe that rune did that man and then whatever this is what always happens whenever something like that happens i'm like 
what if it rolled speed that other time? You know, and I'm like, it's so greedy. It's so unnecessarily greedy. Anyway, that was great. Good job, Rune. You did great. All right. Transcendence Scroll. This is already, I should make two videos out of this because that, that was a video by itself. That was a, that was a roller coaster. I am, uh, I am amped up. Is the Transcendence Scroll here? I thought I got it. Did I get it? Shouldn't it be here? Maybe I didn't pick it up. Transcendence Scroll? There you are. I don't know why I left you behind. I'm sorry, little guy. So this is the one. We're going to get ourselves an at five. We have two blessings because it came with the pack. So that's good. I don't have to buy blessings for a while. Um, monsters I want. Let's look real quick. Because this is always, I think, interesting. I mean, it's what I want, what I want to pull. So in fire, number one would probably be Velijul. Number two, Daphnis, and number three, Beast Rider, just because I don't have one and I want one. Everything else, new, would be great. Anything dupe, no good, bad. All right, water. I don't need a lot of water. Number one in water is probably the Beast Rider, because I think she's cool the way she strips. Um, Daphnis, probably number two. And then everything else I don't really... I mean, there's only three more, but those guys I don't really want. I mean, I'd take them if they're new, but they're not... They wouldn't get double bond or anything. All right, and wind. I think the Beast Rider is number one now. They're so good. They're probably overtuned and a little bit unbalanced, but that's why they're good. That's why I want them. I want to be unbalanced, right? You you don't want Hathor because she's average. You want Hathor because she's broken. Um, so I think Beast Rider number one, probably Fenyan number two, just because I think he's cool. And then this guy, I would I would like to have that guy as well. Other than that, that's about it. So. The problem with these is I have a high chance of getting a dupe. It's like, I have like 65-ish percent of all the nat fives, so my dupe chance is high. I get two options, so if I was good at math, that percent chance would go down, but it would probably still be 40%, something like that, I don't know. So hopefully no dupe. No dupe is number one, Beast Rider number two, and then anything usable would be great too. So here we go. Transcendent scroll. Here we go, here we go. Ah, double dupe. Um, yeah, that'll happen. Which one do I want more as a dupe? They're both quite bad. Like, neither one of them is usable as a second one. Okay, we'll take the Hell Lady. Um, and then we'll feed her. And then hopefully buy, like, Violent Speed Grinds. And maybe not get a dupe next time. I always buy the Splendid Summons because I need I need a better chance. You can see it's, uh, it's getting down to it where there's not a lot of options. This is like summoning two Nat Fives, right? Um, okay, so we'll take the Hell Lady. There she is. My Transcendent Stoop, which is weird that the best thing out of the pack was the rune, but that rune was so good. No reaps, just roll it. Just straight up roll. I just straight up rolled my best Violent Rune. Just like, it was nothing. So good job, pack. You did your job. And we've got the reaps still to do. We'll do those later. I want to do them as a big thing with a bunch of them at once. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my, my pack experience. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching as always. And uh, yeah, if you have similar results, hopefully no dupe, but maybe a good rune, um, let me know in the comments. All right, guys, catch you next time.